Reflexes are assessed bilaterally. Examination includes tests of deep tendon reflexes and pathologic reflexes. Deep tendon reflexes include the biceps reflex, triceps reflex, brachioradialis, patellar, ankle jerk, and jaw jerk. Pathologic reflexes include the Hoffman reflex, palmamental reflex, glabellar reflex, rooting reflex, and the toe extensor response as elicited by the plantar response, Chaddock, and Oppenheim test. To test deep tendon reflexes, it is best to use a proper neurologic hammer, not fingertips or the head of your stethoscope. Strike briskly. Encourage the patient to relax the extremity being tested. Test the biceps reflex with the patient's arm in her lap. Palpate the biceps tendon with your thumb and strike your thumb, not the tendon itself. Look for flexion of the forearm. Test the triceps reflex with the patient's elbow held suspended in your hand. Encourage her to let the arm hang limp. Palpate the triceps tendon with your thumb and strike your thumb. Look for extension of the forearm. Test the brachioradialis reflex with the patient's arm in her lap. Palpate the brachioradialis tendon with your finger and strike your finger. Look for contraction of the muscle, sometimes with upward angulation of the hand. Test the patellar reflex with the patient sitting on the edge of the bed. Palpate the patella and the patellar tendon below it. Strike the tendon directly or tap over your thumb. Look for extension of the lower leg. Reinforcement may help when reflexes are hard to elicit. Have the patient clench her hands together and pull hard while you test the reflex. Test the ankle jerk reflex with the patient sitting on the edge of the bed. Tap the Achilles tendon with the hammer and look for foot flexion. If you place your hand underneath the foot, you may feel subtle flexion that cannot be seen. It may be easier to elicit this reflex with the patient kneeling on a chair. If the patient can't sit, lower extremity reflexes can be tested with the patient's supine. Test the jaw jerk or mandibular reflex by placing your finger or thumb on the chin and tapping it. Look and feel for slight jaw contraction. Pathologic reflexes are not normally present. Test for the Hoffman reflex by flicking the end of the middle finger and looking for flexion of the thumb tip. Test for the glabellar reflex by tapping the forehead with your index finger. Normally, blinking ceases after a few taps. Persistent blinking is abnormal. Test for the palmamental reflex by scraping the thenar eminence with the end of your reflex hammer. Look for contraction of jaw muscles or twitching of the lip. Test for the rooting reflex by gently stroking the side of the mouth bilaterally. Look for a slight head turn towards the stimulus. Test the plantar response by scraping along the lateral border of the sole and across the toes with the end of the reflex hammer. Extension of the great toe, called the extensor plantar response or Babinski sign, is abnormal. Withdrawal or toe flexion is normal. The Chaddock and Oppenheim reflexes look for the same extensor response, but are less likely to cause withdrawal. For the Chaddock reflex, the stimulus is a scrape along the side of the foot from the lateral malleolus to the toes. And for the Oppenheim reflex, the stimulus is a scrape down the shin. <laughs>